Hey, what's going on, everyone? You know what this is. It's your boy, Will. Welcome to another Middle-Aged Conservative Ninja Elephant production. Today, in this video, this minute in this video, I want to discuss a video I just saw on Twitter and a story that I will read to you some excerpts from on Yahoo. J.R. Smith, veteran basketball player, member of the championship 2016 championship Cleveland Cavaliers decided that he was going to take justice into his own hands when what appears to be an Antifa member vandalized his truck. He caught up to the dude and he literally beats the brakes off this dude. Beats the brakes off of him. Kick game the whole nine. I mean, and then the dude had the audacity <laughs> to do a video on Instagram, I believe it was, saying, yeah, I beat that dude, and what? So, out of all the turmoil that's going on in the world right now, I ain't gonna lie, I gotta chuckle out that video because it just seems like it was so, like, karma's a bitch. Like, I used to date a chick named Karma, so believe me, I know karma is definitely a bitch. And so it is amazing. Let me read a little of the story to you. Let me let me let me put my spectacles on. Okay, so it says here on Yahoo, amid political protests and violence in Los Angeles, a video has emerged of NBA veteran J.R. Smith beating up a person he accused of vandalizing his truck. In the video published by TMZ, Smith can be seen repeatedly kicking and punching the person on a Los Angeles street. The alleged van was on the ground and at the beginning of the video before fleeing as a crowd begins to form. Smith had posted a preemptive video on his Instagram story on Saturday explaining the situation. Alleging the person had broken the window on his truck in a residential area. Here's his full explanation. Now, I'm not going to read the whole thing, but I think this is hilarious. He said, I just want you all to know right now, before you see all this shit somewhere else, one of these little motherfuckers, white boys, didn't know where he was going and broke my fucking window in my truck. He broke my shit. This was a residential area. No stores over here. None of that shit. Broke my window, chased him down, and I whooped his ass. Now, he said a lot in that very short paragraph where he says, Ain't no stores around here. So he don't mind that somebody's store gets somebody's livelihood. People's jobs get lost. But woe is me. You fuck with my truck. I'm going to beat your ass. Really? Really? So it continues. Oh, it, it continues. So when the footage comes out and you all see it, I chased him down and I whooped his ass. He broke my window. They ain't no hate crime. <laughs> he says, he broke my window. This ain't no hate crime. It's like, he, I mean, dude, just because you say it ain't no hate crime don't mean it ain't a hate crime. I mean, this is pure comedy. I ain't got no problem with nobody and nobody should got no, got no problem with me. There's a problem with this motherfucking system. That's it. The motherfucker broke my window and I whooped his ass. He didn't know who window he broke and he got his ass whooped. <laughs> so Smith, it says, it goes on to say, I'll read this last part. Smith recently played in NBA during the 2018-19 season with the Cleveland Cavaliers, though he hasn't explicitly announced his retirement. Known for his strong outside shooting, eccentric behavior, blah, 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 blah. But yeah, it's eccentric behavior. So, yeah, he didn't know. This dude had no idea that he was going to, he was breaking into J.R. Smith's stuff. I guess he know now. I guess that's going to make a lot of them little Antifa brats think about twice about when they go in these residential areas, whose shit they messing with. Because I guarantee you, you touch my car, I got a 12 gauge slug with your name on it. Yes, I truly believe in the Second Amendment. This house that I'm in is definitely armed, just so you know. 
this is just, just great. I mean, just when you're all sad and everything, you just you get a, you read a story, you see a video like that. I mean, he caught this dude and he beat him down. But this goes to a a more a larger picture because it, it talks about the economy. Like J.R. Smith is definitely probably a, a liberal. He's probably voted Obama twice. He probably voted for Hillary Clinton. He's definitely one of the Hollywood or, you know, athletic elites who are super rich, but yet still try to be woke. And I, and I emphasize the word try. But it was so telling in this thing where he said two things that I just thought was so amazing to me. This was no resident. This was a residential area. No stores over here. That is so telling of the left, how they just don't get it when it comes to middle America. People who work and grind for a living, people who depend on those small businesses that he gives two fucks about, who give people jobs, insurance, who give people a way to take care, pay their rent, their car note, their car insurance, take pay for their kids' school clothes and food. Those places matter too, as much as your truck. I mean, it is so elitist. It is so elitist of J.R. Smith to say something so asinine. And then when he said, this ain't no hate crime. I mean, you can't make this stuff up when it comes to liberals. He is the poster child for the liberals mentality when it comes to you, the normal person. Hollywood, LeBron, athletes, people like you, they don't care about you. To them, you are a number. How can I get your dumb ass to come to my game to buy my overpriced popcorn, hot dogs, and t-shirts so that my owner can make money so he can pay me a bigger contract? That's all they care about. And that shows it, the eliteness, the elite attitude that this dude has. Like, don't get me wrong, I'm cracking up and I'm glad he beat down an Antifa kid. I really, and when I say kid, I'm not talking like 13, 14. I'm talking probably some dumbass college kid. But I'm happy he did that. But I'm also appalled by how, he, what he said in his video to try to explain what he did, like it's going to matter. If I mean, I'm pretty sure this kid doesn't want to press charges against him because, yes, he vandalized something. It wasn't like he was walking down the street and JR was like, boop. So it's not like that. But it just, it just exposes these people for who they are and how they think about us. You got Chris Teigen, the husband, uh, excuse me, I was about to say the husband because she do kind of look like a transvestite. The, the wife of John Legend, another piece of crap, piece of crap liberal, talking about she wants to bail out people like the guy who vandalized J.R. Smith's car. I guarantee you J.R. Smith is not if he was able to put that dude to jail, wouldn't want that dude coming out anytime soon to vandalize somebody else's in his rich neighborhood's car. So these people, Hollywood, the, the athletic elites, they they are the worst of us, not the best of us. They're entertaining and they pride of distraction, but these people are no 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 one to look up to. They're jerks. Most of them are just complete jerks. So <laughs> I just thought I'd just make this video, man. It's just amazing to me. The, 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 the audacity of these people, man. Like they, 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 they try to condemn the rich, but they are the rich. They, they talk about being so woke, but yet they so sleep. They, they, they serve no purpose. Honestly, we found that we can live without these people, without Hollywood movies, without sports. We found that we can do it without them. Is that we choose to do it with them. So it's a choice, not a necessity. I'm just saying. And on that note, I just want to say, man, that was funny. I, I, I would want to post the video, but I ain't even going to lie. I ain't got the kind of skills to try to cut the video into my video and all that kind of stuff. But I'm pretty sure you'll find it on YouTube or Twitter. So go out there, look for that video. Oh, hell, go to TMZ's site. I don't want to advertise for them, but... And I, because I can't stand TMZ, they're just a liberal, ultra leftist rag that tells lies after lies about conservatives. But if you want to watch the video and get a good laugh, 
definitely go to that site or find it. Actually, you know what? Don't go to their site. Find it on YouTube. Find it on somebody YouTube's channel and do it that way. Until next time, people, have a have a good day and I hope for a better tomorrow for you and yours. And, you know, hopefully this stuff will be over, man. Like this COVID crap. Now this uh, this 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 George Floyd situation, because I'm not going to downplay that. It's horrible. But, man, I'm just really hoping for a better tomorrow. Trump 2020, baby. Trump 2020.